anywhere. You ready? Here we go. <laughs> Okay, you ready, mate? All right. Okay, folks, if you want to film this, feel free to do so, okay? This is your show. But I recommend you put your phone on slow motion because it's going to be really fast. If you don't know how to do that, just ask a child, they'll show you. If you don't want to watch it, that's totally fine. You might want to cover your eyes or look the other way. I don't like to watch it either. That's why I'm going to do it blindfolded. No eyes. Now apparently, I'm the only man in the world who's done this stunt blindfolded. And I'm going to try and do it for you guys here in Blackpool right now. But I need you guys to listen very carefully. As I run through here, the problem with this road is it slopes this way and that way, which means if I don't get up to about 20 miles an hour, I have a tendency to run off course. And last Saturday, I thought I was in the middle and I hit the hurdle on the way up here. So here's where you guys become really important. If I can hear the sound of you all clapping and cheering and making a lot of noise on the way through, I'll know roughly from the noise if I'm in the middle. That gives me a good idea if I'm running in the, in the right place. It doesn't tell me when to jump. That part I've still got to figure out from years of practice. So let me ask you all a quick question. If you're ready, and if you're with me, everyone together, let me hear you say yes. Yeah! Okay, can I get you all up to the rope line? I need to see if we've got any gaps, because gaps are a bad thing in this stunt when I'm running through here. I think we're good at the top here. We've got a gap here. If you guys could move up just a little bit, that'd be great. Try and fill these gaps in. Maybe you guys come down here. Perfect, nice one. Okay, you guys are looking great. All right, and with Jane, how are we doing down there? Feel good? Okay, people, this is where it gets real. If you've got small children next to you, hold their hands, keep them safe. As long as they're yours, obviously, otherwise it's weird. All right, here we go. Now the last thing I'll say, sorry about the view back here, by the way. You don't have to film this part, madam. It's going to be better in a minute, I promise you. Folks, I just want to say a quick thank you before I do this because you guys decided to come over here and watch my show and you've put a lot of faith in me that I'll do this, otherwise you wouldn't still be here, so I appreciate that. Now, I'm not going to let you down. I've made a promise to get through here blindfolded at 20 miles an hour, get back up on top of these boxes without a mark, without a scratch, and without a burn. Something that no other human's done, blindfolded. Now with your help, we can get it done. But can I ask you all in a moment, if I manage to do this, and if you think I've done a good job as a street performer, please remember to do a good job as an audience. I don't just mean the clap and the cheering. Please bear in mind, this is actually how I earn my living. But I don't actually get paid by the council or the peers or anyone. What I do is, as long as I'm not bleeding or on fire, I'm gonna grab my black bag, stand here. I'm not gonna come in and hassle you guys. It's not my style. But can I ask you all to show some love and respect at the end, Make a polite donation before you leave. I don't ask for a lot, but I do ask for fairness. Whatever you guys think the show's worth, whatever you think I'm worth, I'll say thank you regardless. I hope that's fair. I think that's fair. Is that fair? Yeah. yeah. And if you're really not sure how much to put in, I mean this. No matter how big or how small the gesture, seriously, just fold it up. <laughs> worth a try. <laughs> People, you guys can put in whatever you feel like. For anyone who can't afford to fold something, as my way of saying thank you, I've got some professionally made lanyards. I'd love to be able to give them to everyone. Unfortunately, I'm not at a position where I can buy thousands in bulk yet and get them at a great price. So they cost a few pounds to make each, but anyone who puts in a five or more, you can have one of them to take away. Hopefully every time you put your keys on, you remember the daredevil from Blackpool who jumped through fire knives and jagged teeth, blindfolded, to cheer you up. If you can't afford that, Price of a cup of tea or coffee, folks. Gold coin or two in the hat is a lovely gesture. If you agree with what I've said, if you think it's fair and reasonable, can I ask you all to show me with one last round of applause and we'll do this together. Thank you, folks. You guys have been a great audience. I hope you have a great day and a great night tonight for staying around for the lights. We're gonna be here hopefully a bit longer, but it all depends on each show. Every time I do this, I respect that it could be the last time I do it, so I've gotta get it right. Emma Jane, you ready down there? 
I want to say a big thank you to Emma because she comes out here every single day as my support partner to look after me, to look after me if I get it wrong. Last Saturday she had to stitch me back up with super glue. And, and it's, it's also, also our birthday, birthday today. She's still out here. So what about a round of applause for Emma Jane on the bottom there? Thank you, Emma. I love you. Hang on, hang on, no one move, we had a deal. <laughs> Let me check something out.